Hey everybody, welcome back to A Week in Geek Them. Geo here, and today we're doing another top 10 for the best anime of 2021. A lot of cool shows debuted in 2021, but I could only pick 10, my top 10 favorite shows. Now, please be aware that this is my list, and in no shape or form does it invalidate your picks for top anime of 2021. So let's get started. The Dragons are back! Kyoto Animation's triumphant return was one of the highlights of 2021, with Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid S, a fun, quirky, fan y series with a ton of heart. While Season 1 was fun and boasted memorable character designs, Season 2 was a wholesome delight. At only 12 episodes, we got more character-centric stories to flesh out these lovable dragons. Gorgeous animation and moving backstories that remind us that we are never truly alone if we have the right people beside us. 2021 brought us the conclusion to the wonderfully rebooted adaptation of Fruits Basket. 50 episodes worth of plot and character development has led us to this very moment. The final season is a satisfying conclusion to all the questions that have been lingering since the start of the series. Todu's caring nature, her love and empathy for the Somas, will collide with a family that is struggling, yearning to be free, but still shackled by past trauma a curse and tradition. Dramatic and emotionally resonant, the final season gives a proper conclusion to these beloved characters, while also trying to understand how complicated the emotions and relationships with one another can be. Studio Mappa's underrated hit returned in 2021 for a second season, a batch of new episodes that further explores what it means to work together for the greater good. The undead idol girls are back for revenge after failing a gig, setting their career back. With all the introductions taken care of in Season 1, this new venture explores each member of Franchucho in new light, in a new light, with episodes ranging from the hilarious to the dramatic, while also bringing the group together and overcoming difficult odds. 2021 was the year to go back into war with mechs. Well, combat drones to be precise. The 86 adaptation debuted with wonderful ferocity. A great examination on war through the lens of young pilots facing racism and discrimination. Wonderfully animated by A1 Pictures, the 86 shows us the dirtier side of war as pilots risk their lives for a republic that does not care for them and will turn a blind eye in the name of a bloodless war, autonomously fought in the fields far away from their comfort. But for characters like Shin, Raiden, Kurena, and more, all they know is war and the death that awaits them. Fantastic sound design and a gripping plot that balances futuristic action with politics reminiscent out of the 21st century. I debated if I should have included this next series on my list, considering the amount of perversion involved, but here we are. Everyone deserves a second shot, another opportunity to fix our mistakes, right? In Mushoku Tensei, we follow the journey of a nobody neat who dies saving the life of a young kid. As a result, our protagonist is reincarnated in another world in the body of a baby. Realizing this do-over, Rudius gets a new lease on life, vowing to make better use of it. Yes, my friends, this is an isekai. Mushoku Tensei succeeds in a lot of areas where modern isekai fail. Fantastic characters, magical spells, phenomenal world-building and all too relatable stories. Our main protagonist does not shy away from his perverted nature, and I can understand viewers being put away by that, but I do think it brings an authenticity to the story. A main character who is not perfect, who does not have it all, and isn't some wish-fulfillment trope. Rudeus' journey begins fairly tame, but complicated matters soon arise, which will force him to grow, not just physically, but mentally as well. Beautifully animated by Studio Bind, you will join in for the fun and be rewarded with a story of growth and maturity. In the beginning, an orb was cast onto Earth. So began the story of To Your Eternity and Fushi's amazing journey through a parallel Earth. Masterfully adapting Yoshitoki Oima's manga of the same name, To Your Eternity is a beautiful examination of what it means to live, to grieve, and be a part of this world. Bolstered by the art of Brains Base Studio, the series highlights one being's journey and all the good and bad that comes with it. From the fantastical, 
to the interpersonal drama of the many characters we meet, and how one lone immortal being will shape the lives of the many. Combine a wholesome slice of life, young adult angst, the exploration of Japanese labor culture, all presented within the beautiful backdrop of Okinawa, and you've got yourself one of the best shows of 2021. Aquatope on White Sand surprised the heck out of me with its honest portrayal of an 18-year-old girl who just wants to do her best at caring and protecting her grandparents' struggling aquarium. Kukuru's story will resonate with those whose upbringing was a bit unorthodox. Her commitment and tenacity make her journey memorable as she encounters Fuka, a former idol who is at a loss with life. A chance encounter at the aquarium will set a path of friendship and self-discovery. Unlike the rest of the heroes featured in this video, you could say Prince Boji has it rough. Unable to hear, speak, or wield a sword, he doesn't seem like the typical character for a lead show. And in-universe, his kingdom would agree. Yet ranking of kings proves the old saying right, size truly does not matter. Wit Studios is back with another classic in the making, expertly adapting and combining elements of storytelling not seen in anime for quite some time. Unlikely heroes and villains whose motivations and personalities are not as simple as they may seem. A picturesque world reminiscent of fairy tales of old, yet harboring a darkness that slowly creeps in and if left unchecked could spell disaster. A protagonist that you can't help but immediately love and root for. With Kage the shadow at his side, the two set out on the adventure of a lifetime. Sometimes the best stories are the ones you don't see coming. The ones that subvert expectations and play with established tropes. In On Taxi, we get a tale of a sad middle-aged walrus taxi driver and how he views the world and the animals around him. The city is vibrant and filled with many interesting characters of all walks of life. Idols looking to explode in popularity, a delinquent looking for the next big score, comedians hoping to catch a break, and even that one animal looking to be the next social influencer. Chit chat about a missing person amongst the animals leads back to our walrus and his famous taxi. OLM knocked it out of the park with this one. A uniquely animated story that will remind you that even anthropomorphic animals can highlight the best and worst of us. Here we go folks, my number one pick of 2021, a series that I did not see coming. It excelled in its story, characters, and art, creating a memorable experience that I will definitely not forget. The story of the powerful Taira clan has been a staple of Japanese literature for many years, a true epic poem of the rise and fall of one of history's greatest clans and their struggle for control of Japan at the end of the Genpei War. Clearly adapting such an important literary work is no easy feat, but the folks at Sayan Sadu set out to adapt the story with modern sensibilities while still honoring the past. The 12th century epic of Heike Monogatari is brought back to life with a beautifully painted aesthetic, an all-star voice cast, and a music score for the ages. The Heike story is told through the young orphaned Biwa and her psychic abilities. Through her eyes, this tale will be revealed. A story of family, love, betrayal, and greed. And that is that, everybody. Thank you so much. Those were my top 
10 anime of 2021. I had a lot of fun putting this list together. It was so stressful to pick out the correct order, but nonetheless, we got through it. I highly recommend watching these 10 shows. And don't be sad that your favorite did not make the list. Those honorable mentions were just as good as the top 10 shows that I featured here. So that's about it, gang. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of A Week in Geekdom. It truly does mean a whole lot. Share the video if you want. It definitely helps us out in terms of the YouTube algorithm. That's about it. Thank you, everybody. Stay safe. God bless. I will catch all of you on our next video.